Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Deion Sanders leaving Jackson State and headed to the University of Colorado. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and getting all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, there's been a lot of news. There's been a lot of backlash from the African-American community, from sports communities, uh, that Deion sold out Jackson State, and he essentially went to the University of Colorado. Um... It's a lot of talk that, you know, he never wanted to be at a at a HBCU. He just used it as a stepping stone. But you have to keep in mind, Deion Sanders did what most Americans do. He took an opportunity that he that he made for himself and made it into a bigger opportunity. Doesn't make him a sellout. Doesn't make him anything less than a person. Um, you gotta keep in mind he owes nobody loyalty anywhere. You gotta think, and he said it perfectly. There's no there's no place where coaches go to die after being at an institution for so many years. There's not a Hall of Fame that you go to for for that, just staying out of school for so many years. So you got to keep in mind, um, he did everything he could do. He maxed out. He had the only undefeated season at Jackson State in their history through the regular season. He won the SWAC. Um, you're looking at him improving their, their, their win-loss ratio every single year. <clears throat> him being able to help their facilities, get the money, the funding that they need, get new jerseys. Um, he improved their graduation rate to, to to compete with some of the likes of Ole Miss, to compete with some of the likes of um, um, Mississippi State, things like that. And you got to keep in mind, he was not able to get the funding that a lot of these D1 programs get. At a HBCU, he was underfunded. He was underpaid. He didn't get his bonuses as reported on time. It's just a number of things. He used money out of his own pocket to help finish one of the upgrades for the school. So you got to think, he brought cameras there. He brought television crews. He brought media crews. He brought rappers, entertainers. He put positive spotlight all over JSU. So do I feel like he's a sellout? The answer is no. He helped improve the environment. He helped improve an uh, 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 area that needed it. He got his car broken into. His son got his car broken into. They were victims of vandalism. He did everything that he needed to do to make sure that these young men in the program were getting everything that they needed. He cleaned house and made sure that these guys knew how to win. He took young men and helped them become better men as they're leaving college. So I asked myself, did he do a negative by leaving JSU? No. He earned the opportunity to go be a D1 coach. He earned so many different things. And, and mind you, he came to Jackson State after not being able to get a job coaching on a D1 level. So you got to ask yourself, who qualifies who to get a job? Dion did it the right way. If you have a problem with Dion Sanders doing it the way he's doing it and clearing house in Colorado and all those things, I get it. But don't hold the man hostage for what he's done. The man's done more positive than negative. They bring up so many different facts that have nothing to do with nothing. And when you look at the basis of what is going on, Dion still is consistently on top, making sure that these kids are winning in the end, giving them the proper know-how, giving them the proper uh, values, giving them everything that they need so they can win in life. So I want you to understand, if you had a coach that went to bat for you, if you have a coach that's trying to make sure you get drafted, you have a coach that's teaching you life skills, wisdom, and how to be a man on and off the field. It's not a sellout. It's a good mentor. It's a good coach. So I feel like Dion did a great job. I don't feel like he's a sellout. I don't have anything against Dion. I hope he does well at Colorado, actually. The transfer portal is open. If you're a young athlete and you want to go play for Dion, go for it. Go for it. So... Let me know what you think in the comment section. Get in the comment section right now and tell me what you think. As always, we thank you so very much for your comments. We thank you for everything. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the very next video.